Hello and welcome to Evolve Pipe Drive Podcast, which are all things pipe drive, sales, apps, and pipe drive marketplace. My name is Bruce Brignall. I own and run Evolve. We're a technology consultancy based in the UK, working globally, helping businesses get more out of pipe drive through implementation, consultancy, and training. Today it's my great pleasure to be joined by Akil, the CEO at Supermeet, a scheduling platform for helping growing teams who are on pipe drive. Uh, and he's going to walk us through uh, the platform, um, Supermeet, and how it integrates with pipe drive. Over to you. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Bruce, and happy, uh, happy to have uh, have a talk with it's, you. It's nice. To, it's nice to see you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so I'll show you a quick demo of Supermeet. Uh, so, uh, like uh, Supermeet is a scheduler, AI-based scheduler for super growing sales teams who are using Pipedrive. So we got the first integration with Pipedrive. That's why it's for super uh, Pipedrive. So um, yeah, so um, here is a uh, dashboard home view uh, and uh, you will have some quick uh, analytics here. This is a, a demo account, so don't have much data here, but I'll show you. Um, so Supermeet uh, as a scheduler, uh, it, is, uh, it has three type of scheduler pages or interfaces that you can use to capture meetings. That is, um, you can actually integrate Supermeet into your website. Here is the pricing page of Supermeet. And you, what you see here is a regular chatbot-like experience. Uh, you can actually use the chatbot, interact with it, and uh, you will have the scheduler screen in this, uh, within this board. You don't want to uh, go to another page. Uh, you can actually do it within this bot experience, just like uh, Pipedrive. Then there is another view where you can actually uh, embed your scheduler widget into any page of your uh, of your like. Like you can actually integrate into uh, custom pages, your website, maybe even with other uh, form tools. That's mm -hmm. quite possible. Uh, so here is the look of the widget. Then actually you can have your own scheduler pages, uh, just like this. Uh, you can have a scheduler page where you can have branding of your own. Like uh, for for instance, I have put some testimonials of this customer in this page. Actually, it's a, a dummy page anyway, but you can have your own branding. You can pull your testimonials. You can actually have some videos here. It's all up to you. Uh, so these are the three interfaces uh, that you can use to get bookings. Then uh, I'll show uh, how we can actually build one. So uh, we call it boards or conversations. So you are uh, actually building a conversation here. So I will um, uh, I will just edit uh, an existing conversation and show how it works. So here it is. So on building a, a conversation, you have these three options. This is the default bot where you put in your website, you can embed in a page, you can share it. So you will have a shareable link just like any other scheduler tools. So you can have your picture, you have you can have a greeting message, a name, uh, basic details in this page. Then you are actually configuring this conversation. So uh, just like any other uh, conversation builder, it's so easy. Uh, you can have uh, some paths here and have uh, conversations. You can use uh, widgets to collect data. Like uh, if you, uh, we have visitor details, company details, and all sort of uh, custom uh, widgets that you can capture data. And I, I've, uh, noti I've noticed their rating yeah. as well. So could someone give a rating of a service? Is yeah, sure. That is totally doable, nice. actually. Uh, you can have a rating widget and you can actually collect that data into CRM. Uh, now you are seeing some options here. I will explain it. Uh, so whenever you actually collect data, say in this board, actually what I'm doing is um, I put in this website. Okay. So it's my pricing page and I have, uh, uh, I'm telling that all the features are like add-ons. So I want my customer to choose his add-ons. Yeah. Okay. 
So these are the add-ons that in a multiple option field. That is a multiple option field. So what I have done here is, so yeah, the boat is starting with a multiple option field. So here is the field. So what I'm done is, uh, actually I, I haven't really typed all the field data here. What I did is I just connected it to my uh, similar field in my CRM. So I have a field in my CRM where I have all these options so that whenever a visitor comes to your scheduler page and opt for this multiple option field, what we do is we actually communicate with your CRM and we update data in there. So actually there is no way of uh, data duplication and everything is from your CRM itself. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's how you that's, capture the data. Such, that's such an important point because so many people get lost. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, what keeping, keeping keeping track of what they put in. Yes. In actually, uh, what happens is that uh, uh, most people use two tools. Of course, they may be using a form tool and they might be using another calendar tool. So the issue is that as data travel through from form to calendar to pipe drive it will get lost or maybe there can be mismatches or there can be data rewrites in your crm that you don't want to happen because you know the person already and you have the data within crm so you don't really want to rewrite the data right yeah. so that's how uh, we are trying to integrate all the data fields with your crm i, I can show it how it works then let me show how the calendar widget works. So, so this is another part where you uh, where you actually showing this calendar to your customer and taking booking. So, you can actually choose an event. I have few events and I have selected my event. And you can actually choose the assignment rule. You can actually assign to yourself, or you can actually specifically choose a member. Okay, or you can actually use a routing profile, lead routing profile. Actually, uh, uh, SuperMeet is not just a meeting capture. Uh, it's actually schedules uh, with a lead routing profile that you can set using your CRM data. I can show, show it on the uh, uh, next step. So, so you can actually choose an event, choose the right person to assign, and that's it. And let's see. Uh, how we can actually um, use this data and do things. So uh, we call it follow-up actions. And you can actually have, um, you can actually send an email when something happens. You can actually write this meeting to your Google Calendar. You can actually uh, have this data going through your pipe drive. And of course, we have Mailchimp and Zapier integration uh, that will uh, that is in uh, beta stage and it will be available very soon. Enough. And um, of course, let's see how our deal is added to Pipeline. So I have already added this uh, follow-up action. I will just show you how we edit it. So I'm saying that uh, whenever a meeting is booked, I want this to this pipeline, and I want it to write to this stage. Okay. And of course, you can review what is the assignment rule. And you have a condition here. So I have selected execute when appointment is booked. And I'm also telling that save the chat transcript to pipe drive dream. So whenever someone um, interact with the board, uh, of course, we have all this field data within your CRM. But we are also capturing this chat transcript. And we will add it to the pipe drive deal field. OK. Nice. and. Of course, uh, what uh, there is another condition uh, that is most forms or scheduler tools uh, fail to achieve. So most of the time, uh, visitors come to your scheduler page or form page. They will leave your email and they won't book. Sometimes they feel that, oh, it's not the right time. Or maybe I'm not finding the right time to meet you. OK, mm. so what will we do in that situation? So SuperMeet is clever enough to manage that situation. So we can put another follow-up action and put the condition, say, execute when the appointment is not booked. So we can write it the same pipeline 
and to another stage with maybe same assignment or maybe you can maybe if you want to have a junior sales rep of your team to uh, uh, look into this uh, what uh, leads who haven't really booked but they have uh, given your email you can do that so yeah. I, I think I will have it for Arun my co-founder <laughs> and yeah so that's how you can actually uh, collect meeting right to, to the right destination have some automations uh, as I said we will have MailChimp and Zapier integration with Zoom and um, uh, so that's how it works and you just need to publish it okay all then now let's see um, how our uh, pipe drive integration looks like okay so uh, we have integrations yeah there is Zapier, MailChimp, Google Calendar, Google Analytics, Pipedrive and a lot of other uh, are on what our product map so let's see Pipedrive so uh, when you look into Pipedrive actually uh, installing a Pipedrive integration with Supermeet you can do it two way mm -hmm. actually you can do it from Pipedrive app marketplace we just launched it and it's just, it is just open for uh, public access so you can actually it'll install from it will be on the evolve app marketplace as well <laughs> yeah happy to yeah <laughs> actually we are talking about uh, some uh, having some promotions yeah 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 it's cool <laughs> yeah. so uh, you can actually install from here or you can actually install from this uh, ui uh, yeah. both has same steps you just sign up with Supermeet and uh, once you are completed the sign up, you will see this page yeah. where we actually show the data sync status. Okay, nice. so uh, it's a, uh, you don't need to be uh, um, a technical person to configure this. Uh, once you complete the uh, integration, we will auto map uh, common fields like first name, company name, email, work email, LinkedIn, kind of uh, fields will be auto mapped. Okay, then of course you can actually have your own mapping. Uh, say, for example, uh, these all are my custom mapped fields. Say, competitors. So this is a field called competitor. So I have a super meet for meet field called competitor, and like this, I can actually see all my super meet fields. Then I can have my pipe drive synced fields here mm -hmm. okay uh, then you see uh, something here this is interesting I can explain with some uh, some other field say yeah so here is the organization field uh, for organization name so what I have done here is uh, okay Supermeet has an organization name field and I have mapped with the pipe drive organization field and I have put this locked field on so what we do is Likewise, as I said, uh, there are situations where you use forms, scheduler, and everything is connected with Pipedrive. So in these cases, there are chances that customer can mistype or sometimes they enter uh, wrong data intentionally, sometimes intentionally, sometimes they mistypes. So what happens is that if you have a hot deal in your Pipedrive, so there is an existing person for that deal, existing organization for that field and there are uh, mission critical data associated with this uh, company like uh, employee count or maybe key decision makers name there could be any kind of data that is so critical and you don't want to rewrite it so if you put these fields in a form or maybe in your scheduler widget for a booking there are chances that it can rewrite or mistype so if you turn on this locked field what we do is if there is an existing data for this specific field in your crm then we don't overwrite to the field we will keep the data with supermeet and you can actually choose later if you really want to write but yeah. if you turn on this option then we don't do it automatically so that there is no chance of multiple organization for same person most of the time that happens because they will have a same email but they can have some uh, mistype in this organization field so a new organization will be created so we actually link everything uh, 
just as in pipe drive if there is a person and if he has an organization in pipe drive then we know it we already know that this person comes from this organization and this organization has these many data within pipe drive so uh, you just need to write this this data everything yeah. is fine i mean that, that that's huge in, in terms of um ensuring data quality moving forward isn't it it's it's massive yeah actually uh, we have another interesting feature um uh, that is not really uh, a crm feature but what we do is so here is a scheduler page and here is it is asking for my email so what i'm gonna do is so i'm um, i'm i'm pretend to be a cold lead so i just want to give you some temporary email or or some what um some invalid email just to see what are you saying next or just to see uh, or just to just get the booking done so yeah. here is an invalid email yes so actually we know if that email is an invalid email and we also deal with temporary emails um i don't have a temporary email right now but yeah. uh, this works uh, we will identify the person and if he entering an invalid email then we don't write any data to the crm and of course we we ask him to really give his original email say this is my original email then the conversation continues so this would be a great advantage if you are having a company having a high web traffic so supermid is actually targeting super growing teams with uh, uh, decent web traffic uh, and these kind of features are prioritized to make a better crm experience so that meeting is captured properly it is added to pipe drive and we are trying to do a uh, couple of automation that help you help you save time so uh, another thing is that uh, i show you lead routing so here is the uh, lead routing profile so actually uh, let's create a lead routing profile here so what you can do is you can actually invite all your crm team members here and you can have uh, conditions like anything say uh, what if i so want if, to so, yeah so if if someone wants more than 20 seats then it goes to aaron if something someone's under 20 seats it might go between some other users you, you can differentiate the yeah actually uh, uh it's uh, we don't have any limitation to the number of seats actually you can invite uh, members from your pipe drive as well as members outside your pipe drive here because uh, mm -hmm. when company grows as you know uh, maybe all the uh, sales members are not in one crm or yeah. maybe uh, there can be junior guys who just do cold outreach right so in this case you can actually invite any uh, members to your um, super meet account it's uh, like this actually uh, you can have say you can have uh, him as admin or member done so this person is outside my pipe drive organization so you can actually invite any members uh, within pipe drive or outside pipe drive that's fine and say i um, i want to route my leads uh, using say if employee count of that company is uh, greater than 10 then assign to me and because uh, if uh, they have more than 10 employees then i would be the right person to talk or you can actually have more conditions say uh, if employee count or maybe some or, other situations yeah, or time zone or products or whatever it might be yes yeah so so add-ons is in yeah so these are the features that 
uh, that they are interested say if they are interested in sapia and they want email verification then i think uh, another person or uh, would be the right guy and of course you can do it as a, a regular round robin so you know round robin it's a random assignment uh, between the right person uh, there is no weightages the, the tools the current um, other tools maybe our competition what they do is they just randomly assign the next person so we are not a simple round robin we are more uh, intelligent and we actually talk with your crm so that we have these kind of data say the uh, you chose for round robin and there are five members in your team and what but what we do is we have a weightage for each uh, sales rep as per the sales, sales data so we look for if this lead has a meeting owner in your crm if this uh, lead has a deal owner, if this uh, lead has a person owner, organization owner, or even local settings like time zone or country. So we look for all these data and we believe that uh, this would be the right person because if he has a deal owner in your company, then that is the right person out of the five, even if you are randomly uh, choosing the next person. So that uh, that is a capability of super meet uh, in finding the right person within your company you can have configurations uh, uh, alphanumerical configurations and you can have a preference that is uh, intelligently built with your crm data so that uh, that's uh, one of the uh, major uh, upgrade to common lead routing profiles solutions yeah then um, of course uh, uh, some other settings I um, you can actually connect uh, any number of um, calendars to avoid con uh, conflicts while booking um, you can actually we have uh, Google integration right now and we are uh, launching Outlook in a couple of weeks yeah. um, so you can actually have a work calendar that would be your primary calendar here, SuperMeet is my work calendar, and there are you can add uh, as many as other personal or other work calendar to sync with your scheduler, so that there is no double booking, no conflicts, and life is good. Nice. Then, yeah. Then, uh, actually, um, I, uh, one thing, finally, events. So, so you know, uh, our competitors. Uh, there are a lot of other tools. So all. Uh, all of us what we do is we actually uh, help you build a event uh, where you can have basic data here and uh, you can have your uh, weekly availabilities uh, you can set uh, duration um, availability time increment shortest to note to shortest notice to book the event a buffer time uh, all common settings but uh, you will notice this thing uh, actually uh, uh, what we are trying to do here is uh, say if you have a high traffic website and you have put your calendar widget embedded into your website or maybe it's a board what happens is that as traffic increases the number of cold leads increases right uh, uh, that's how marketing works so number of cold lead increases so you don't want to meet all the cold leads or you don't want you want to prioritize it for your hot leads so that you will have more time talking with the more time closing the hot deals uh, and less time chasing the cold ones so that's the mission of super meet so uh, what we are doing here is actually uh, you can have any number of slots in a day and actually you can mark each slot as hot or not so what we do here is we check your data in CRM, we build an ideal customer profile, and if the visitor is hot, then all the availability will be present to him. And if the visitor is cold, we actually present them with this low prioritized slots. Nice. That is, okay. yeah, yeah. Very cool. so uh, you can have uh, many use cases here. Even if you don't have high web traffic, uh, 
um, you would prefer to meet your hot deals in your best productive time. Maybe it's a morning time or th that could be morning time for me. That could be even for you. So okay. you can actually configure it with this system so that um, you will have the best time with your best businesses. Yeah. So that is uh, another cool thing that you will achieve with uh, Supermeet. And of course, um, you can have uh, notifications, reminders uh, uh, for uh, uh, reminding the meeting. You can actually set any number of reminders, maybe two, three, four, and you can also notify the owner and uh, the guest. And here is something that is we were doing lately. Uh, uh, Bruce, uh, I think you remember we uh, when we met last time, we uh, we discussed that we are building a meeting tool, meeting not taking tool. Yes. So it's available right now, uh, mm -hmm. and it's in a very beta stage. <laughs> it happened in the last week after nice. our okay. meeting. So what we do here is, actually, we know that um, uh, just uh, to have band, or maybe any other medic uh, process in your CRM, you need to have all the information in your CRM. So most of them comes from the meetings, right? Uh, sales meetings. So what we have done here is, uh, you uh, you saw how we integrate with PyDrive, how we integrate with CRM field. So you can actually create a meeting note template where you can have your CRM fields. Okay. so. These are the questions that I want to ask my guest during my meeting. Okay, so what is what are the employee count? Uh, what how many number of seats would be using our product? Uh, what is your country? What are the add-ons th that you are interested in? What CRM are you using? Do you use any of our competitors? Of course, if you are using Calendly, what would be the plan? Yeah. Uh, what are the plans? So, do you have any objection? Do you have any question? So, how we do is Simply, you can actually use uh, create a custom not topic, or you can actually use your mapped CRM fields. You can use all your fields here. And what we do is, and you actually, could have you could have different meeting yeah. topics for different meetings. Yes, meeting not template is specific to an event. Okay, yeah. I I was editing this event, and uh, this template or notes is specific to this event yeah not very cool and and you can actually yeah this is another one that i tried to make few a few minutes later earlier so this don't have a meeting not topic and how this work is um so we have these meetings here this is a dummy meeting account so these are my past events okay so these uh so this meeting has not uh, marked with any outcome mm -hmm. so let's go to this details page so this meeting has happened a few days back so i want to enter the outcome of this meeting so you can actually uh, mark as no show that's fine or you can actually mark as met okay so if you click on mark as met we will immediately ask these questions as a meeting note taker. Yeah. Okay. So you can actually have all your what uh, data from your CRM here. So you don't want to type anything. You can just use your CRM data. So add-ons, all these add-ons are available here. CRM, it's fibre. So, and you can actually mark if this meeting is a positive one or negative, whether the outcome tends to be negative or positive and just save it here. Where, where, where does the, the positive or negative, does that then reflect back into Pipedrive as well? Yes, actually uh, in Pipedrive, um, actually, yeah. So uh, this is the uh, uh, pipeline that we are talking about. Yeah. So in PyDrive, what we do is actually for activities, uh, PyDrive don't really have a outcome option, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there is a uh, field for marking as done, that's it. Mm -hmm. So there is no outcome. So we are trying to in, uh, have a 
uh, different field actually it's up to you because all uh, sales companies has a different process of uh, marking outcome or maybe managing outcome so uh, it's open for customers actually yeah. we can have a custom field okay yeah. so uh, we can map a custom field with super meet and uh, mark it as okay this is positive or negative so that you can actually use that field to generate analytics metrics data yeah. everything that's possible yeah. and uh, there can be other ways if uh, actually you can move stages mm. uh, as per uh, as per the uh, uh, outcome yeah say if it is no show we will move this to no show that's very cool that's it yeah i, I like so I like this this is this is um i can tell that it's it's live and it's improving as we go as as we're meeting so it's it's nice yeah. to see that um come, coming coming to the platform so uh that's all about uh super meet and uh we are uh, in early access model right now uh, we are uh, um, inviting people to try our platform and uh, onboarding is so concise we will meet and talk about how we can actually help you do better sales with pipe drive and uh, yeah that's it and happy to have as many as pipe drive users here <laughs> yeah no it's cool it's, and it's it's great to be involved at the, this stage obviously you, yeah. you're leveraging not just the chat bot to, to book your meetings not just your landing pages um, but integrating it in, in, in with the website as well. So, um, and you're obviously adding new functions all the time because the the meeting uh, piece wasn't there last time we spoke. So this this is really exciting. Um, yeah. Akil, thank you very much. Uh, and if you would like thank to get um, a personal demo, we'll have links in the description below, um, and or to join the the beta program. Um, yeah, all all links and description will be below. Akil, once again, yeah. thank you. Thanks, Bruce.